Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into one of the most important topics for DevOps professional which is CICD pipelines. So we will look at some of the common interview questions and answers and um, I will also um, uh, share uh, the way you should be answering these questions. So whether you are preparing for an interview or just looking to strengthen your understanding, this video will cover key concepts, uh, common interview questions and best practices that will help you succeed in your interviews. Once again, before I start off with the session, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So let's get started with this. Now, um, what are the key skills employers look for uh, in DevOps professionals, right? So, you know, you might have this confusion as to uh, what are the skills uh, that I need to prepare uh, what does an employer look for uh, when I'm attending the uh, interview for DevOps, right? So DevOps role, it requires a mix of technical and collaborative skills. So as an employer, um, the employers will always look for expertise in automation, uh, scripting like Bash or Python, uh, cloud platforms like uh, AWS, Azure or GCP, uh, containerization like Docker or Kubernetes, and infrastructure as code like Terraform or Ansible. But beyond these tools, they value problem solving, teamwork, and strong understanding of CI CD pipelines. Yes, so tools is an integral part of your uh, DevOps, but also there are some other skills like uh, you know, problem solving skills, your thinking capabilities, uh, understanding of your CI CD that is, that is also important. Now, uh, why are CI/CD pipelines so crucial in modern software development? Uh, it's mainly because your CI/CD pipelines helps you to automate the process of integrating code changes, uh, testing and deploying your applications. Now, the advantage of this is that it leads to faster releases, fewer errors and more reliable software. Companies who are adopting CI/CD are seeing more improved collaboration between teams and quicker feedback loops, and this is a must-have in agile environments. So, if you are using agile, then CI/CD is a must, and this is something that is very commonly used in all of your agile environments. Now, um, what are some common interview questions that revolve around CI/CD? So one would be, uh, how do you design a CI/CD pipeline? So this is where, you know, understanding of CI/CD is very important. Um, interviewers often ask about your hands-on experiences. So this is one of the common ex uh, question that you can expect. Um, what tools have you used for CI/CD? So again, as part of your CI/CD pipeline, what are the various tools you might have worked with? So GitHub, GitHub Actions. Uh, Terraform or and uh, Ansible, Jenkins, so the tools that you have worked with. Um, so how do you ensure security in your pipeline? All right. So uh, have you implemented DevSecOps or what are the security tools or mechanisms that you have in your pipeline? So you will need to basically have an understanding of that. Now we will break down how to answer these questions later um, in the in this video. Now, let's talk about some of the core components of a typical CI-CD pipeline. So, a CI-CD pipeline consists of several stages. So, the first stage we have is your source code management, also known as SCM. Now, this is where we'll, we will be using tools like Git, um, GitHub or GitLab to manage our code changes. So, this will be our central repository where we will be pushing all of our code and we will be maintaining our uh, source code for the application. The next stage we have is the build stage. So uh, this, is, this is the stage where we will be compiling our code. And for this, we have tools like Maven, Gradle, L NPM, which can be used to compile our code and create deployable packages. So depending on the platform depending on the programming language that you're using you might be using the respective tool for that the next stage we have is the testing stage now this is where you can implement automated uh, unit testing integration testing and security testing 
So you have tools like JUnit, Selenium, Sonar Cube that you can use as part of your testing stage. And the final stage we have is the deployment stage. So this is where we will be releasing our uh, application to various environments. It could be your dev, staging, prod. And for this, we have tools like Jenkins, Argo CD, or Spinnaker that can be used to set up a deployment, automated deployment pipeline, uh, which will help you to release your um, uh, changes to your respective environments. So um, generally, a CI/CD pipeline consists of all these stages, and this is what uh, you will be expected to answer uh, whenever you get a question on how can you you know explain a CI/CD pipeline process. Now, the other question that you might expect is explain the concept of continuous integration and its role in the pipeline. Again, a very common question. So, continuous integration or CI, what this means is. Uh, developers will frequently merge their code into a shared repository where you will have your automated builds and tests run. So as a developer, we will make the change, we will push it to a repository and that will trigger your automated build and automated tests to run. Now this will help you to catch bugs very early in your development cycle and also enforces um, on and also ensures code stability before we move uh, with the deployment all right so that's basically what your continuous integration is so basically as a developer we will develop the code we will uh, write the code multiple times in a day we will push it to a common repository we will have our build which will be running continuously then we will test those packages which will help us to catch the bugs and also make sure our code is stable. The other question you can expect is highlight the benefits of automation and how it enhances the development process. So CICD is all about automation, right? So automation helps you to reduce manual errors. It helps you to speed up your release process and also allows teams to focus more on innovation rather than spending time on repetitive tasks right so a well-defined pipeline ensures there is a consistency across environments right from your development environment to your production environment so automation is the whole point of automation is uh, removing the manual effort as much as possible and automating everything so it could be your build it could be your testing it could be your deployment we are automating everything that way we are speeding up the release process uh, we are focusing more on improving the application all right now uh, the other question you can expect is uh, walk me through your experience uh, building and maintaining a ci cd pipeline now you need to be very um, uh, structured when you're answering this uh, question and um, uh, try to exp you know mention as many tools as you uh, know so uh, you know start off with the tools that you have used um, you know like you have used jenkins or you have worked with gitlab ci or github actions so, you know what are the tools that you have worked with uh, explain how um, you have set up the pipeline you know like your source code management triggers your build process your testing process your deployment strategies you will need to basically talk about all those things then also mention any challenges that you have faced uh, that you have faced like flaky tests or deployment failures and how you resolved them also mention about your improvements that you might have made such as uh, reducing the build time or adding security scans to your uh, automation you you know uh, make sure that you highlight them as well so this is what you will need to answer uh, whenever you could get the question of uh, uh, building and maintaining a ci cd pipeline the other question that you can expect is how do you handle testing and quality assur assurance within your pipeline so this is where you will need to emphasize on automated testing right so um, unit tests which run on every commit 
uh, integration tests in your staging environment uh, quality gates you know like for example using sonar cube for code quality OWASP for uh, security and rollback strategies if tests fail so you will need to basically talk about all those things so every commit that you do there will be a unit test that will be running um, and uh, once the code has been merged and deployed to staging environment you'll be having your integration testing your quality gates uh, checking the uh, quality of your code checking your security and your rollback strategy so you need to basically talk about all these things and talk about your automation as much as possible the other question that you can expect is describe a time you had to troubleshoot an issue in a CICD pipeline so uh, you know try to explain any real-time issue that you might have faced so something like you know what was the issue so a deployment failed uh, due to a dependency conflict then how did you debug it so you know basically you need to describe the de debugging steps so you know you, you might have checked the logs you might have uh, reproduced the error locally and identified the broken dependency and then the solution so what was um, that you did to fix it so pinned the correct version in the build config and added a pre-deployment dependency check and then finally what was the outcome of this so faster resolution in future failure so you need to basically this should be your strategy to answer the question so what was the issue how did you debug it how did you fix it and what was the final outcome of this now a uh, final tip i might have for your successful interview would be to stay updated on latest trends it could be cloud native tools it could be GitOps or serverless deployment so try to be as updated as possible uh, use clear examples when you're answering your questions so instead of saying i worked on ci cd say i automated deployments using jenkins and kubernetes uh, cutting the release time by 40 percent so try to be as descriptive as possible in your answers and not just being blunt with your answers uh, show passion for automation so devops is all about automation so you know interviewers want to see the the enthusiasm for improving the process so you know how can you improve something um, how can you reduce the time how can you speed up the process you know talking about automation and that brings us to the end of the session so mastering the CICD it really takes hands-on practice so you know try to set up a personal project using uh, free tier tools like github actions or jenkins uh, if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon for more um, contents drop your questions in the comment section below thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video